Hi, and welcome back to Tasty Tuesday. Today is episode seven, brought to you by Transition Nutrition and Fitness Coaching. Today, we're gonna be making some condiments and sauces. We're gonna start off with a homemade guacamole. This happens to be a recipe of my son's, and it's gonna start with two ripe avocados that have been scored and diced and scooped out into a bowl. If you wanna remember, or you wanna learn how to do the scooping out, go back to episode four of the chocolate pudding where I show you how to score and scoop out the avocado. First, I'm gonna take the avocado, I'm gonna mash it just a tad bit to get it started. Now I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of salt substitute. I like to use Benson's Tasty Table and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now you can use fresh garlic for the guacamole, but I find that sometimes you'll bite into the smaller chunks that are minced up and it gives you kind of a bitter taste. So I like to use the garlic powder when I'm making my guacamole. I have one chopped up jalapeno, about an eighth to a quarter of a red onion. And I do think the red onion makes a huge difference and the juice of one lime. That's all the ingredients. Now all we're gonna do is continue mashing it and mixing it up until all of our ingredients are well blended. We like the guacamole on our tossed salads. We put it on our nacho type dishes, our meatless nachos or our meatless tacos. We put it on our black bean burgers, which will be another episode of Tasty Tuesday. And sometimes we just like to eat it with our tortilla chips um, and dip it right out of the bowl as a dip. If you're trying to lose weight, you do need to watch the amount of avocado you put in your diet, but it is a healthy fat. So a small amount. Some people even like to make avocado toast for breakfast. A small amount is fine. And there we have our fresh guacamole ready to. So now that we've finished our guacamole, we're going to make some homemade hummus. I've already drained and rinsed one can of low sodium chickpeas. I like to buy this brand. It's either low sodium or I get the Eden brand, which is salt free. You want to make sure you don't put any extra salt into your hummus. Your second ingredient is going to be one and a half cloves of garlic. I've already minced my garlic, but I didn't worry about getting it too fine because when I put it in the mixer, it's going to chop it up even finer. Next, you put in two tablespoons of tahini. Now, you wanna make sure when you get your tahini, there's nothing added in it. It's just ground sesame. No salt, no oil, nothing else added in it. So you're going to add your two tablespoons of tahini you could add all of this right to the mixer to begin with, but for me, it's a little easier on camera if I put it into a container before I put it into the mixer. Next, I have the juice of one lemon, two tablespoons or three tablespoons of water, just a little bit of fresh ground pepper, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. And that's all that goes in it. So now we're gonna move over here. I'm using my small Ninja this morning because really this one, um, it, for the Vitamix, it takes up not enough space. It does a better job if you have a smaller container for the hummus. Like I said, you could dump all of this right into the container but I have found that the paprika and the spices mix in a little bit better if I go ahead and put them in a, in a um, bowl and then add them to the little ninja container. I'm gonna put our lid on, make sure the end is clean, and pop on the top to the ninja. It's gonna be loud for just a second. And 
there you have your homemade hummus, ready for a dip. Now that we finished our hummus, we're going to make a sweet cashew cream. Now this is sort of a cross between a sweeter cream and a sour cream. I use it anywhere I would use sour cream. Um, it's not quite as tart as sour cream, it's more sweet. I use it on my tofu scramble, I put it on my nachos, I will put it on um, veggies, a baked potato, anything that you would normally put some sour cream on, this is perfect for. It lasts in the fridge for about five days and it does make a, a nice amount. So we're gonna start with a cup of soaked cashews. Now I have a Vitamix, which is a really strong blender and I don't necessarily have to soak my cashews, but these were soaked for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna start with one cup of soaked raw cashews, not roasted, in there. Then we have three medjool dates, which have already been pitted. One cup of filtered water a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a just a pinch of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's all that goes in. And then you will sometimes need to go in and scrape down the sides to make sure all of the date, little date pieces and cashew pieces get blended up nice and smooth. And the sauce will come out a bit warm. You do need to chill it in the refrigerator before using it. So we're gonna give this another little spin in the Vitamix. All right, our cashew cream is done. And like I said, it will be a bit warm. Vitamix is a very strong powered motor and it takes a lot of energy to chop up those cashews and those dates into a nice cream. And then what I like to do is I buy these 99 cent, you can get them at the dollar store, little ketchup condiment containers and use those to store my cashew cream. You can see it pours fairly thin. If you like it a little thicker, you can always add less water. I like it to be able to squeeze out of my little condiment bottle. And we'll stick that in the fridge and get that chilling while we go to make our chips. Now that we have our guacamole, our cashew cream, and our hummus done, we're going to make some tortilla chips just to have as some snacks. I buy the Mission white corn tortillas. Each tortilla is only 50 calories and a serving would be two. So that's about that 16 chips, which is fairly generous. And I take them. I don't put any extra salt, oil, or anything on them. Stack them up, and I cut them into eighths. So I do fourths, then I repile them up, and cut my fourths in half until I have eighths. Normally, I'll take them and just put them right back in the bag. I'll cut up pretty much the whole bag at once and keep them in the cupboard. And then I make them fresh every couple of days. These are some of my husband's favorites to have at night. And sometimes he'll use some guac or some salsa just for a little snack. I'm using the same Mastrad Silipat um, microwave chip making pads that I made in my sweet potato chip video, which was episode one. These do cook a lot faster. I just arrange them as many as I can fit so going different directions on the little pad. And I'll do this until I have four layers. Now I have all four of my layers stacked and ready to go in the microwave. Again, depending on your microwave, I start mine off at about four minutes, rotate the layers, and then go for three. And you wanna watch until they just get a little bit of light brown. And I'll show you what that'll look like. Okay, you know your chips are done when they start to get a little light toasty on the top. You have to watch them really closely the last minute to 30 seconds because they will burn very quickly if you're not careful. Then I take them and put them in a bowl and let them cool. I keep them in a Ziploc bag, but I don't zip it. They stay crunchier if you leave the Ziploc bag open. And usually they don't last much more than a couple of days at our house. After you get your chips all done, we're now ready to plate it and see what it looks like with our sauces. 
All right, we now have our tortilla chips that we've made today plated. These are the sweet potato chips from episode one. Make sure you go back and check that video out if you haven't. They go great with the guacamole as well, which I discovered inadvertently as it by accident. And we have our cashew cream. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Tasty Tuesday. Make sure you check out the other six episodes. Hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our great recipes. And make sure to tune in next Tuesday for another amazing video. Also, if you want mine, hit that share button and share this with your friends. Thank you and have a great day.